Ryan, Sarah, we are doing it. We're what? What are we doing? We're in Spain. We're in Spain. Okay. We're in Spain. Here we are in Arcos de la Frontera. We're up in the hills of Andalusia, and um, we're into the car. Hence, why Sarah's drinking beer and I'm drinking Coca-Cola. And uh, we've been we drove up here this morning. It's beautiful. The weather is phenomenal. Uh, the air is clear. The hills, the roads, everything's been really amazing. And this is our first pit stop as we go up into the mountains into Ronda. Uh, what do you got for me? You got some info? Um, <laughs> <laughs> One of Andalusia's most dramatically positioned Pueblos Blancos. White village. Balances atop a limestone ridge. Uh, declared a National Historic Artistic Monument in 1962 because of its exceptional architecture and impressive location. Uh, they have a sandstone castle, the Castillo de los Arcos. Sandstone castle. <laughs> We're going to go to a viewpoint you can see all over the hills there. Um, it has a long history of occupation. Neolithic, Bronze Age, Tartitian, Phoenician, Roman periods. Plentiful water and superb defensive hilltop location were the main attractions. 28,000 people. Newer town on the lower slopes. Old town on the upper slopes. Only the brave should drive to it. <laughs> we As there were narrow of, archways to pass to get to yeah, We kind of took a wrong turn at one point and we had to go through one of those narrow archways. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was okay. Oh, that's yes. Wow. What is this? This is a uh, duck mousse. It's kind of like a pate with the raspberry. I'm super excited to eat this. A little bit of this raspberry. Mm. Mm. It's so good. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's like meat butter with a little sweet kick. We have this little sandwich. It's cold pork on a grilled kind of sandwich. This type of bun is actually uh, famous in this area. It's kind of like a Muslim style bread. I don't think they rise it that much, maybe. And uh, we got two kinds of olives here. One's the house olives, and then these ones are stuffed with anchovies. And they're really amazing. Really good stuff. So the plan is, we're headed up into the mountains. Tonight we're gonna stay at um, basically a cottage in the mountains, kind of in the middle of nowhere, in the, like outside of a small town. It looks cool, courtesy of Airbnb. So we'll see how that is. Uh, but we're kind of slowly making our way up there, going through the hills and just uh, popping into cool little villages like this, doing a little walk around, jumping back in the car, going for a drive. There's a spiciness to it. It's kind mm. of a spicy thing in there. Kind of like a horseradish or something. Mm. It's really nice. Mm. Well, 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 here we are. This is where we're staying for a couple nights. Uh, we're in El Gastor. Uh, you can see the beautiful view here. Uh, yes, or tomorrow we might walk up to that peak there. But for today, I think we're gonna relax in our little cabin here, a little cottage. Let's have a quick look around. Let the light adjust, say hello. Hello. See, this is like a very kind of typical white um, I guess they paint them white because it gets really hot and so they try to keep the uh, the sun bouncing off of it and uh, Lucky for us. It's a nice day because it's what February and it's really nice out warm and just beautiful But this is pretty much the living room kitchen area We're over here making some coffee already and uh, She actually she gave us some of this olive oil. She said she made it herself. There's some olive trees trees just down the way there We've got a little Wood fire stove. We're gonna have to set a fire tonight. And uh, this is our bedroom. Dark, kind of tiny little room, but not bad for sleeping. It's a little bit of a 
drive up here, just like those winding dirt roads. But I mean, it's worth it for the view, that's for sure. So we got this table back here. Hey, kitty. Okay, morning time. Uh, we are hitting the road. Was it like 10:30 a.m. Something like that? 11? 11? Sarah slept in. I was up. Got the sunrise. Well, we had a nice breakfast. Sarah cooked up some eggs and toast and some local ham from the area. We're gonna do a bit of a circle around the lake, I believe. Hit all these like they call them white villages. They're pretty old. Built back in the Muslim days, I believe. Uh, and now we're on our way to, first stop? Hal Golden Alles. Hal Golden Alles? Hal Golden Alles. Hal Golden Alles. I'll go to Alles if you go to Alles. The name of the town again? Hal Golden Alles. Well, we are in Hal Golden Alles. <laughs> Did I butcher that? Yeah, you put an R instead of an L. Hal Golden Alles. Algo Denales. Uh, so this town is famous for the springs. The mountain water drains out of the mountain. <laughs> and these are pretty cool. This is uh, fresh mountain spring water. And you can literally... Drink it. Tasty. And then over here, we have the lavadero publico which means public laundry they don't use it anymore for their laundry but um, they've kind of redone it to look like the olden days kind of an ancient public laundry space it's all locked up i don't think anybody uses it but the water drains into those baths and you can uh, wash your clothes in it it's pretty neat beautiful little town here beautiful square it's pretty happening right now, old men walking back and forth through it, and some, uh, some people drinking coffee in the square, the church is there. It's a nice spot, really nice spot. Are you going through real estate? 66,000 euros, that's pretty good. Wow, that's a nice view from the terrace. We've been paying attention to all the real estate. Sarah and I have this itch to like buy property uh, somewhere beautiful. And this has been one of those places where we go and we're just like, oh, imagine living here. It'd be so nice if we lived here. And there's all kinds of signs, of places for sale. Uh, so we've been like seeing a sign, looking it up on the website and like looking at the photos of it. And they're like, oh, we could live here. We could do that. And, um, you know, it might, it might never come to fruition, but it's fun to dream and you never know maybe we'll find a spot that we really like and we're talking about airbnb in it out so this vacation we've been really looking at airbnbs we've stayed at only airbnb so so far and um, trying to get a sense of like how plausible it would be to own a place airbnb it out not be there for most of the time but then whenever we wanted it we could come back and use it and uh, hopefully it would go up in value eventually I don't know.
giant reservoir. We drove across that little dam there. It blocks the water off, drains it through whenever you need water, I guess. This is beautiful. And on the other side here we have, damn it, I can't remember, Sarah. Sahara de la Sierra. Sahara. Sahara. Sahara de la Sierra. Sahara de la Sierra. Beautiful. There's a church and a castle up there that we're gonna go have a quick hike over to. Okay. We're hiking our way up there through these beautiful streets. I'm a little out of breath because I just ran up a big portion of it. Um, it's, I don't know, it's a dare. But, uh, oh, look at this. Beautiful square with an old church. So I believe we're headed right up to the top of the cliffs there. It's a great little town. As I said before, it's February. I don't know if I said that because it's what February and but uh, in the summertime these streets would be packed with tourists. We're lucky we kind of have it all to ourselves except for this one guy on his phone. Uh, look at that. Wow. It's amazing. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I might just puke. It's so beautiful. It's not from the running. I'm puking because of the beauty. Well, you can see I think we started right down there, kind of where that white van is kind of. And that uh, didn't take too long to do that. Wow. check out that castle. Man, I am sweating now. I was freezing this morning, so I got long underwear on. Got a couple layers up top. It feels great in a breeze, but that sun is hot in all those steps and ramps and stuff. It, uh, I can't imagine it in the summer. It must be deadly, especially with all the people packed in. You see all these trees dotted all along the side of the, the hill there. Those are likely olive trees. That's basically like an orchard. There's tons of them all around here. And uh, so the castle. The castle, it was built by the Moors back in the 1400s, I believe. It's like an ideal situation for the castle, as you can see. We're halfway, kind of, not halfway, but we're between Sevilla and, and Vronda which are like two bigger cities and bigger establishments were there. So they put this here to basically protect either side. It, it was a pretty good strategic plan, I guess, because you're up on this big cliff. You can look down like for miles, miles, and miles that way. And same with this way, you can go all the way. I think Ronda is just over there somewhere. I'm headed up the turret and I believe I have to go this way. <laughs> It's difficult to tell though. You can see the, um, I'm sure the history buffs will know what these are called, but you can see you like stretch right out here. You can shoot down the valley. Shoots bow and arrows, I guess. Can you guys see that? Because I can't see anything. Oh God, I can't tell. Sarah found the view again. All right, see those orange chairs down there? That's where we're gonna head.
something embarrassing just happened. <laughs> no, I was singing the kookaburro song. Maybe you guys are familiar with the kookaburro song. Kookaburro sits in the old gum tree. You can all the dim drops you can see. Laugh, kookaburro, laugh, kookaburro, gay, your life must be. Ha, ha, ha. So I got to the gay, your life must be <laughs> line, and uh, I didn't see the guy. Oh, shit, this is the guy right now. He popped out of nowhere and heard me, and I said, gay, your face must be. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. But you said it in a jaunty way. <laughs> How did I say it? Okay, your face must be ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just finishing up some lunch here. I like to end my videos the way I start them with a delicious meal. This is, they call it rope nests. I don't know, I think this is a translated menu, but um, it's basically shredded up potatoes. We got the fried chicken one. Uh, so there's fried chicken on it, some Caesar dressing, and quail's eggs. Just beautiful quail eggs that are runny and it's pretty delicious. Truth be told, I haven't tried it yet. It's a good spot. We like to walk out of the main square. There's a lot of nice restaurants in the main square, but they're a little overpriced, so Sarah's good at doing research. We found this place and um, I'm really happy with it. We had some veal burgers with some local goat cheese on them and some sweet onions. They were really tasty. And also a smoked salmon salad. It's really good. And uh, that's it for me for this video. So thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And after you subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of upcoming videos. Meh, 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 meh. Um, we're gonna go do a little bit of hiking in the mountains here. What's that noise? Big bee coming at us? <laughs> Um, but you guys don't want to watch us hike around, so you, who wants to watch a bunch of sweaty people go, go die? Well, stop looking up there, Sarah. It's freaking me out. This is why you never, I never give you the responsibility <laughs> of camera person. Usually I just have a tripod. The camera with the tripod, is, is the battery's dead, so I gotta resort to this, this. <laughs> um, Anyway, tomorrow we head to Rhonda, which is going to be great too. So we'll come along for the journey for that too. All right, see you guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's so heavy. You know who doesn't complain about it? The tripod. <laughs> <laughs>